Wrong hole! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to start over? We got to start over. This guy stuck his thing in the wrong hole. <laughs> What's the station ID right there? What's next for Guar? You already had your way with priests, dead dogs, babies, kidnapped children, quadruple chicks, etc. Who will be the next orifice for Guar to violate? Well, besides my own, you mean? Yes, besides your um, own. I don't know. I'm pretty self-indulgent, you know. I'm, I'm pretty much totally involved with myself and no one else. I, I'm one of those loner types, so you should probably ask Odorous Urangus, the omnisexual, yeah. about right, what I'll he's going to be yeah. fucking next. <laughs> what was the worst <laughs> experience you ever had at a Guar show? Well, the worst? Oh, I don't know. Probably the last three days when we were stuck on this bus driving 35 miles an hour in the snow. <laughs> where, where are you coming from? Chicago. Uh, we played in Chicago on All Saint Eve. Wow, that's a, that's a big shift between two days. There's a Guar site on internet, is that right? Yes, that's true. How's that going? It's going uh, pretty slowly, the Guar one is, and we're also on Iuma, which is... Uh, uh, Internet, under, internet Underground Music Archive. Yeah. Can I ask that? Yeah. Is it true that Scott Kroll doubles as Cyber Slave? Yes. Alright. Yeah, and there's another guy too named Charlie O'Donovan who's yeah. also working in the room. And they're just, you know, building up slowly, but it's happening. We got a next computer hooked in with like Apple Mac and IBM, so we're pretty much covered. <laughs> I hear that you are launching a new line of action figures. Uh, plush dolls, comic books, and a cartoon. Are these allegations true? That is not true! That was Glomco's plan! They were going to turn us into a bunch of bubbly-haired, green jelly look-alikes. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you Nibbles? You know, baby rock! I'm not into baby rock! I eat babies! <laughs> Probably do lots of other things for them too. I mean, too. after all, abortion is so popular. You got to do something with those fetuses. <laughs> Why not eat them? Exactly. You can feed the starving children in Africa, for God's sake. Modest proposal. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the old Nipolis Erectus? I heard rumors oh, that he was murdered. Yeah, I, I murdered him. It was my little altered oh, yeah. plan. You see, I, I, uh, I. Never mind. You'll never find out. It's a skeleton hidden in my past that no one will ever know about. I faked his murder. I put him in a bowl of hydrochloric acid and everybody thought it was a drug over there. <laughs> now, <laughs> I've heard that guar actually means gay women against rape or... Gay wimpy art rock or God what a racket or... Yeah, I, I heard from one person that's kind of a stupid thing is that like when you came out of uh, your tomb in Antarctica that that's what you s sort of screamed when you first came out with... Yeah, that's true. Guar. It was... <laughs> Also and it's that also like when you get really pissed off and you're like, ah! It used to be a 24-letter word, but, you know, marketability, you know, humans can only understand four letters at a time, you know, that kind of stuff. Exactly. So, and is it, it's not true that it, uh, is it really a, uh, a slang word in Italian for uh, homosexual? Um, I don't know. My, ling li my linguistics are down in that area, region. Where... Where do you I hate get? The men down there, they're really pushy. You know, even if you're with your goddamn boyfriend or your girlfriend, for that matter, you know, they're just coming up to you, trying to fucking hit on you all the time. They're like a bunch of horny dogs. How is it that uh, Melvin Squeamish keeps getting his head replaced? <laughs> Who's Melvin Squeamish? He, well, he's the man that the usually gets decapitated, the lucky contest winner. I was hoping that I could be the lucky contest winner tonight, but uh, well, seems you know, like Melvin Squeamish son, keeps beating son, people out. Son. After death, there is always a rebirth. It's the only way I can explain it. Transmutation. Three-dimensional travel. Modern medicine. <laughs> I see. I have heard rumors that a band member left the band and started a new band called Capone. What do you Kipone. know of it? Kipone. What have you heard of this? And did, was he kicked out or did he leave on his own will? Or? It was pretty mutual. Pretty mutual? <laughs> I see. To do something else. Big deal. Right. You think I'm gonna shake my ass for the rest of my life? No. 
No. I'm going to be leaving this organization and I'll be replaced and whatever. Who cares? You're going to be leaving this organization? I'm not saying that I'm going to be leaving. <laughs> I'm just saying that people will be leaving this organization. I understand. You're going to be leaving. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are your musical influences? Who do you listen to when you're not up there killing people and, and like... Uh, Miles, and Mozart, uh, Tchaikovsky, um, the, uh, what's his name? John. What's that guy? He's a really big guy. He plays a pro band sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Leo uh, Young! <laughs> I'm only joking. I did that totally publicly. Because we're here in Seattle. Exactly. Home of the death love. Yeah, so what do you think of the big... Home of worshipping death love and spreading it around the world. What do you think of the big grunge scene nowadays? Can I whine? Oh yes, I can whine. <laughs> <laughs> what songs do you have the most fun playing live? Um, or dancing to with, you know, fiery I like torches. To, uh, fi Horror of Yig. Yeah, I like yeah. all the drummy numbers. I like drums because they help the whole group transcend at once. All right. How do you pay for uh, all the expenses? Obviously, you wreak havoc on every place that you the come to. The way we pay for it is we don't get paid, man. <laughs> I see. We're totally core. People still don't realize it. Did we you don't have like big paychecks, like, like, I'm not going to say any names. Neil Young and those kind of bands. Did you, uh... All the core rockers, like, Henry Rollins! <laughs> <laughs> fucking million dollars three times. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um... <laughs> she kind of likes Henry Rollins. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, did you, uh... Like did you really have to quit the European tour because uh, oh. there was no money left? No, because William Morris, our booking agency, Don Muller, you know, the guy, the genius behind Lollapalooza who totally ignores Guar. Right? What um, did he do? Those fuckhole, asshole motherfuckers. <laughs> That's going on the radio. Disclaimer. <laughs> 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 you know, William Morris, the one with all the cool bands. Right. You know, we were one of the Three little guys. bands, Guar. Uh. They had a Japan, an incompetent Jap girl. Japanese woman, not a Jewish American princess, uh, a Japanese woman who didn't even wake up when Europe was like doing business. So she she booked two weeks of our tour and uh, forgot to confirm the dates. So we got sent home two weeks early and missed the biggest show of our lives. Uh, that's, and we all, that's about really seven or eight of us got evicted. That's it. You should really have Fucking killed cunt them. bitch. <laughs> you this guy's a he's a typo over <laughs> here. <laughs> How do you bring such massive I mean, how do you carry a uh, Skullhead Face's flesh column with you to the shows? And, and like, Gorgor. We have nothing to do with it. this. We don't carry yeah. anything. Oh, we I just see. show up, you know, fly in on the back ship helicopter every night. You've read the story, right? I see. Yeah. <laughs> but it seems like they wouldn't be able to fit in the door right there, you know. Gorgor trying to <laughs> bust his way in every night. Well, you know, fantasy is fantasy. That's, that's true. <laughs> so, and we're in one big old fantasy here, aren't we? So, uh, I guess no right now what would be cool is to do a, uh, like a station ID kind of okay. thing. Write your thingy down I'm, I'm from, uh, I need to write it down. Yeah, write it down. I can't remember. Can you remember? Can you remember? I have K-U-P-S. K-U-P-S. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, I do cool. this every day. Wonderful. Not bad. Oh, could I ask something else? <laughs> uh, I, I, bought, I have to know this. a little antagonist. Don't yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that you have um, a sort of spin-off band, the X Cops. Have you heard yeah. the info? They're putting out an album anytime soon. Yeah, it's coming out in January, and they're going to start touring. Cool. cool. All right. They're on the bus right now doing an interview. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be at KUPS ninety point one. Is there a name of a show? Uh, Grim Hours. Hours. Grim Hours. Yes. Greetings, human. I'm here at the Grim Hour. You know the uh, wait. Let me write something down. Okay. Can you Greetings, humans. This is Sly Menstra Hyman from Guar. I'm here at the Grim Hour waiting for your rebirth. Here at KUPS 90.1 Tacoma. It's my new age message. I have one final question. I don't know if you can pull this off. Would there be any way I could be eaten by the maggots on stage? Today? I don't know if we're doing the maggots. We're gonna we got here so late we didn't set our set up. Oh. What about Portland? 
Maybe, I don't know if the stage is like there. It's too. Yeah. No, we're not doing it there. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. I, would, I would do anything to get on So stage. what, the more isn't doing a... The more, I don't know, I think after the last few rows of seats last time. <laughs> 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 it's not really fun. Oh, they don't want us back anymore? I don't know. I hope they do. Someone told me they weren't doing rock shows. They're doing rock They're doing shows. They're just yeah. not giving power rock. They gave you the cold shoulder. Okay. Yeah. God, I wish I was a Seattle station so I could tell Courtney Love. Oh, you can you can do it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They well no, they have um. How oh, I. Get to watch? <laughs> <laughs> I I sh shouldn't say, but actually some of the some of the local music people have something against. Yeah. No, I really don't. I just think it's fucked up. Yeah. Well, I just don't like rock stars. Like Oh, no, baby. Yeah. Just say no to drugs. Unless it's hot. Which one he has? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think anyone should smell hot either. Right? I agree 100%. 100%. So is that enough? Or do yeah, you have to talk to someone else? Yeah, I'm going to be in the very first row. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's all right. You're going to...